All right, guys, what's up? Um, so I decided I was bored in the house. I wanted to do something creative. So I picked up my cam, A74. Got the tried and true trusty Sigma 24 to 70 on there. And I'm just gonna take a walk, take a photo walk. I have this new DJI Action 3. Sorry, I hear some animals. Man, it was big. It's a big animal. All right, I knew there was this dope trail down here, so I wanted to take a walk, bring out this DJI action. Uh, obviously vlog, but also see if I get some dope pictures. I'm trying to find some dope pictures to hang up in my studio. So let's see what we can get. Another thing I do want to test out is I want to be able to test out um, if I can use this to get cinematic B-roll. It does have 4K 120. 4K 120 should be able to get you some dope cinematic B-roll. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to take a few more pics uh, with the a7 IV. Um, and then after that, I'm going to put the a7 IV down for a little bit and get some cinematic B-roll with the DJI action. Let's get it. Well, I don't want to jinx it, baby. All right, I've got some dope, dope shots so far. Like I said, they look really good on the screen. I know how some of these action cams do. You get them home and they look really crappy on the computer, so I'm hoping that's not the case. Uh, a couple things. The battery life has been great so far. I've been out here for a little bit over an hour. I've been taking tons of shots, walking, B-roll, all that extra stuff. I've been changing frame rates and everything, so it's been great so far. I can't complain, can't complain. Can't. All right, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put on the chest strap i'm gonna walk with the uh action cam on my chest you're gonna see my point of view we're gonna see what that looks like from a standpoint of stability from a standpoint of lighting from a standpoint of image quality let's see what it looks like all right so i got it on my strapped on my chest i'm walking this is 4K 30 right now. That's the main usage I got this for. Get the CDA 74. See some of my settings when I shoot certain things. I'm gonna be getting some B-roll right now, so I got it on some slow-mo settings. Uh, slow-mo, but I'm shooting s cinetone right now. Like these two little things, just just in the middle of nowhere. This little scary movie scene. Slight little pan for effect. We're out of there. Another thing that's just absolutely amazing about this thing is the stability. Like I'm walking this whole time. You can hear me, I'm a little bit out of breath because I'm walking, but it's just stable, man. I'm gonna do a little quick jog. Let y'all see what the stability look like. Boy, another thing is the field of view. Look how wide this baby boy is. When you're going out and you know you're vlogging and you want to be able to show the environment that you're in, you're paying attention to a couple of things. Like, obviously, you want to make sure the aperture is not too low. It can't be a 1.2, 1.8 because then it's so focused on you, it'll be hard for the people watching you to see what your background looks like. 
This one's a 2.8. I think it's just right. No thoughts. I have absolutely no complaints. I still have to go put it into the editing software and see what it looks like. But as far as usability, it's so easy to navigate through the systems, switch between your frame rates. Everything looks really good. Um, I went in there early and I set a setting to make sure my auto ISO never got over 800. So I feel a little confident with that as well. Um, so thank you for watching. My name is Michael Perryman. If you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. And until next time. I'm gonna